And now in the category of things that will get used briefly before being thrown in the bin, we have a baseball cap with an illuminated skip. And it's quite interesting. It's got a side glow fibre optic around the edge. Let me show you what it looks like by taking the exposure off and putting the light off. And I warn you in advance, there is going to be a little bit of flashing, but it's not that bad because it's not super bright. One click, it flashes at fairly high speed, slower speed, and then another click and it's static. And it's quite nice. You can see a slight dotty effect. I think that might actually either be a built-in effect into the fibre optic itself, little uh, little sort of scratches into it, or it might actually be the stitching on the system that actually holds it in. I'm going to bring the light back, so watch your eyes. The light is back. I'll just lock that off so it doesn't yield you up and down. So the construction of this is such that it's got this plastic uh, fibre for the light carrier. And the design of this material is such that it usually has a very clear core, but then it's got a coating on the outside. And the coating on the outside is a different refractive index. And the net result of that, if you get a glass of water and you poke something like a pencil or a fork or something like that or a spoon into it, you'll see there's a reflection off the side like a mirror. That's the effect it uses to encourage the light to go along the distance. And it relies on slight impurities to make it glow along the distance. But there's also that slight dotting, which may actually be the stitching because... This stuff actually has a little, um, it's the tube of the fibre optic material with a solid core, but it's also got a little lip in the side to facilitate actually sewing it in. And that uh, stitching through that lip may actually be creating that dot effect. The LEDs are just tacked onto the end of what looks like a heat shrink. I'm just going to try and pull this off. It may, oh, it has pulled off. It is just a sleeve that has been shrunk down Let's pull the LED out. The wires have just pulled off the LED, that's all right. I shall grip the LED, it's kind of heat shrunken, I think. It's a standard three millimetre LED, nothing fancy at all. You could easily change this to suit whatever you wanted. You can already get it in different colours though. So that's a fairly thick sort of sleeve that has been shrunk down onto that. It doesn't feel like standard heat shrink, it feels like a sort of grippy, rubbery plastic. And that literally just goes over the end of that. And they've cut the the little fin on the side of the plastic light guide. They've just basically cut that away so that can be slid over it. And it fits over quite tightly. Let me show you the electronics. The electronics are a little circuit board like this. Let's just chop that right off. Oh, I should mention, the, the wire goes across the other side of the hat via these little elastic loops that are sewn in. So it gets tucked across under the skip behind the sweat band and it goes to the other side where there's another LED so that it's lit from both ends to give at least a fairly decent illumination. I shall lop this off. What do we have? We have the circuit board with the battery clip that holds two 2032 lithium cells in place, giving a total of about 6 volts. It has a bit of heat shrink on either side to stop them shorting out, so those two are in series. And then the connection, rather oddly, onto the bottom is actually a printed electrical connection. It's that graphite ink, which I have to say, when you click this to squeeze it, it changes in intensity just because you press the battery against that harder. It must change the surface area of the contact on that. It bridges over to here. And there's a little blob chip, the classic little resin blob, chip on board, cob. So we've got one connection coming from the outer metal frame here, soldering onto here. We've got a little chip on board, and then we've got a couple of uh, track contacts coming underneath this clicky switch, and it'll have a central contact. I'll just peel that off. It's stuck on with sticky tape, as so many of these things are. So if I peel this off, there should be a central contact. There is the central contact with a little clicky disc that just bridges between the outside and the inside. And that is fundamentally it. There is no resistor as such, although I suppose ultimately this conductive layer here will be acting as a resistor, particularly that little section of track there will probably have at least some resistance. But it's not complicated. It's quite a nice construction, and although it didn't look very bright, it is actually quite visually appealing. It's not too bad at all, so you could actually modify that. If you had a situation you want it run for long, you could even have an external battery pack and uh, perhaps even increase the intensity of the LEDs a bit. But the construction for the cost is typical of a baseball cap, and it's all right. 
and it has those little extra features, including that little elastic strap designed to secure that circuit board in place with the clicky switch so you can just click it through the side. It's quite well designed. Um, so that's it. Illuminated baseball cap off eBay. I shall provide a search link in the description down below. And that is it. Not a lot, but actually still quite nice.